success. Now let's turn the time back nearly two years when we were finishing up this baby and how we tested it for the first time. And while I have your attention, I want to say that it's very important to check the end of the video because there is very important information for you or for your friend. And also, I want to remind you that we Ring Freaks at the moment have a free gift vouchers, each of 200 euro value, to give away for the guys who will subscribe our channel and as well comment that we did it. Now, please enjoy the video about this Tesla. In the meanwhile, so behind me you see that the Tesla already has the glasses in, installed in the car. Uh, also the rear bumper and full front is also assembled like wipers and everything the only thing from the outside what is left is to install the the side glasses but these we will install once we have electricity in the car the main jobs were done in the car which uh, which mostly will be seen uh, always when you will be driving this car so Linus has already installed the dashboard as well he had made the middle console so you can see that it's made from partly from original parts with a lot of modifications and he made heavy duty floor mats the driver has a footrest as well as the passenger so it will be really comfortable for your legs both while climbing in and while driving the car in the meantime while Linus was working on the car but I was working with the uh, electricity and I was trying many things with the another Tesla which is completely stopped how to bypass airbag system as well how to bypass the seat weight sensors because Tesla has 13 shots for airbags and two seat sensors in the front and three in the back and everything needs to work and the car needs to see them not to make any error so this was my task and I was testing this with another car and now in this car you can see already that like from last episode where the wires are still not completely nicely in but all the wires are already in the car all the models are connected as well and we are nearly ready to try to fire this car up and now what we need to do we need basically to tie all the wires and try to start this car up after that we will install racing seat belts, racing seats and then we will try to drive it on the street. I will show you what I had to do to test all the seat sensors and as well the airbag. So behind me you can see both front seats of the Tesla. So basically I had to completely destroy them. I took took the bottom of the seat away. Here is sitting the the seat um, seat weight sensors. You can see the marks where it was standing. The problem is with the driver's seat that uh, you must have this um, this weight sensor because it's basically partly like a start button for the car so when the driver is in the car it engages so that it could drive as well it drives without it but when it cannot go to sleep so I have been playing a little bit with some electrical systems to make it happen that the car would think that the driver is in the car when the car is driving and also when the car is not driving but there is no driver so in, we won't be using any of these uh, sensors in our racing seats but I don't want to mention any of these bypassings on the video because first I wanted to make it everything like to to be open and to show everything but now I understand this information can be used for the guys who are simply repairing uh, damaged cars so I don't want this and uh, in case you are really building some racing Tesla contact me and I will say you everything how it should be done and because I have bypassed the seat weight sensor you will need to put anything here so the seat will be completely original after uh, three three months of the car being uh, disengaged from all the electricity we will try to start it up and we'll see what it shows so we will start to connect the 12 volt battery first okay what it shows and now we also connect the high voltage battery. Yeah, it turned on. Let's try to press the brake. Okay, the lights are on. The screen is also turning on. The 
the water is still full so it's on we see still 71% of the battery I remember I left it with a similar amount or maybe 73 but nothing much less success maybe success so what let's put the glasses let's put the glasses in let's, let's put it. let's put the seats and let's drive so it's making huge sounds from the front I think we need to somehow bleed the system and I'm really not sure how so we will just uh, like on old cars we'll just put the heating on the heating of the interior on the max and maybe it will start heating up the battery and will and will bleed the system out I think maybe heater doesn't work So we'll try to drive just a little bit back and forth to see maybe when it will uh, bleed some air out because now it sounds a bit horrible from all the pumps and everything. No, it looks still the same. So the problem is which we are having, we cannot bleed the system without the diagnostic tool. And there are a few options, uh, which starts basically from 1000 euro minimum. So now we'll check if we can bleed the system somehow manually here. Once I turn the battery on, you push. Uh, put the pipe. It blows back. Blow more. The second. Perfect. <laughs> I see. A arrow catch rubber, right? Wait, don't put. Oh, very good. Oh, stop. Put water now. Basically... It's... Ah, but we can push, we open, we, we yeah, turn yeah. on and it should... I push, you put the battery and it needs to drink. Put, put, put now. Looks not so bad. <laughs> Maybe if nothing explodes. Yeah, now I understood. You press the, the coolant lower till here. Yeah. And later the pump sucks it in. Ah, I help it a little bit with pressure and it goes. Okay, ah. it's everything went at Why? Oh, yeah. We have original cooling, so we reach it at least. Or maybe I open first. Still nothing. Ah, it says climate keeper unavailable due to system fault, so we have a fault in the system. First we couldn't bleed the system, but when we found a way like uh, with uh, some pressure, with adding water and everything, turning on the car, turning it off, how to bleed it. But later the interior uh, fan didn't work. First we thought maybe it doesn't work because it sees that it doesn't have enough coolant in the system. So, but uh, when we, we fought like always, always to check where we were touching the car before. 
So we have disassembled the, everything under the dashboard, so all the, the plastics and everything. To simply check the wires and uh, we found that I didn't disconnect on the driver's side the big, uh, the big connector of the, of the HVAC system. I basically connected it but didn't click it to the end. So hopefully, hopefully this was the problem. Let's, let's see. So we are starting now the car and we'll see if it's, success. if it's working. It's working. Success. success. Woo! Success. Be careful that it wouldn't blow you off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, so idiot me, but uh, good that it didn't take us one day or more to fix it. Now, now, now it seems that everything is fine, so, so we can assemble the car back and uh, then we can get the seats in. We will use short six-point belts. To be street legal in the Germany, you need uh, to have uh, belts which have the middle buckle with the with the button. So like here with the red button. Uh, so only these uh, short Profi 2 belts have both FIA and uh, both street legal certificates. So it's the only belt which you can use both for racing and as well for the street. And as well, what we found, it's pretty comfortable belt and really high quality. It's a German brand, so yeah, we are satisfied to use it in every car we have. So we got the outside of the car completely assembled, as well as the inside, and we are nearly ready to go outside of the car. The only thing, we will do a small check on the lifter, uh, torque the wheels, and then we go. So it has all the power and no rear tires. We can finish with the interior and move on with the suspension. See you later. And if you have some or vast experience working on cars, projects, race cars, normal cars, anything, and you would like to join our team, please contact me. See you next time.